Psychological safety is a shared belief that in this team it is safe for interpersonal risk taking, which means that you're not afraid to ask questions, you do not fear being humiliated, you can raise your concerns, you're comfortable sharing your ideas, you can ask for help and safely admit mistakes. Every member of the team has to feel safe enough to contribute wholeheartedly. And in that sense, effective teamwork depends on psychological safety. If I as a team member feel safe enough to share my ideas, my concerns, my questions, and admit my mistakes, I perform better and I contribute better to the team as a whole. Through that, our teams will perform better. Working in a team is not always easy. It did not get any easier after we were not allowed to meet face to face. What we know about digital teamwork that can help us in the ongoing corona pandemic. In my article, Waiting for the Host to Start This Meeting, I summarized the research literature on three areas related to digital teamwork and its importance for psychological safety. Firstly, how does communicating digitally in a team affect our psychological safety? After all, that we communicate is more important than how we communicate. Digital communication can be effective when we are used to it and be suitable for certain tasks. However, we do not seem ready to throw away traditional forms of cooperation quite yet. For example, we have limited opportunity to interpret each other's body language and behavior through screens, which may limit our feeling of safety to contribute fully. Secondly, how does cooperating over a physical distance affect our psychological safety? Physical distance can contribute to psychological distance that limits us and our relations. If teams enter a period like this low on psychological safety, it might be challenging to build such safety based solely on digital communication. Working across a physical distance can have a lot of advantages with it. We can include members of the team that are not physically there. On the other side, the physical distance can contribute to psychological distance. For psychological safety, we need real relations. We need to know each other. We need to be certain that we wish each other well in this team. Thirdly, how is our psychological safety affected by letting our colleagues into our homes? In a sense, the distant became the near. Suddenly, my colleagues were in my living room instead of in the usual meeting room at work. Even though we meet over screens, they see a little more of who I am at home. To be authentic and confident on where we have each other has its clear advantages on psychological safety and effective communication. However, most of us would prefer to maintain a certain boundary between our private and work life. So, how to build psychological safety in teams? Firstly, through leaders who see the individual and engage actively with their colleagues. Secondly, we build psychological safety through the experience of autonomy, co-determination, and orderly role clarifications. And thirdly, psychological safety is built through a supportive work environment and good relationships. Digital teamwork can have advantages such as increased efficiency and disadvantages such as limited communication opportunities. I encourage teams and team leaders to address how the pandemic has affected their cooperation and make conscious choices about when and how digital solutions are appropriate for their future work. Meeting face-to-face -face has its clear advantages and teams that have the opportunity to do so may reap the benefits of using both forms of collaboration. We can grow on challenges if we dare to take advantage of them and reflect on the learning potential. Facing the challenges the pandemic has brought on us together as a team can strengthen the collaboration and our psychological safety.